Hello everyone. Today we're talking about mundane items tables. It's not in the core Encyclopedia Eldoria book. Um, we use them a lot when we're doing Dark Times and Daring More, which was a, an umbrella campaign at our club, and lots of people enjoyed them. In fact, they started trying to collect everything on the list. And it also, um, for GM, makes things a lot easier. You don't have to struggle and think about what's in their pockets. Um, You've just got hundreds and hundreds of things you can choose from. So with this video, I'll go through how it started, how to use it, um, and hope you find it interesting. We like them. Role playing Eldoria is all about our love of storytelling. Mundane items tables came about when the players demanded from the GM a detailed list of what was in their captors' pockets. That's a 42. 42. Yeah, yeah. It's a small bottle filled <laughs> with ointment. Ooh, there you wow. go. <laughs> this is the original mundane items table. We were playing Dark Times and Daring More, and um, Keith Stone developed this. So you can see, for example, it was just based on percentiles, this one. Just had a hundred different items. We'll have a quick look at some of the options. Like if you rolled a 13, you've got a small carved animal. Um, 23, empty brass file. So you can see there was quite a lot of variety. You know, roll a six on a percentiles, you get one D20 copper trades. But after the original, we decided it need, needed more. There's more than a hundred things you could find on a body. So do developed multiple of these hundred tables which is why you'd roll a d4 and then choose from which one of those and also some tables specific to classes once you get up to some of the higher ones like a hundred you get a minor magic item and the gn to determine how we develop the multiple mundane items tables is as with many of our products, we get together as a group of friends, friends of Eldoria, and this particular one, we sat around the dining room table. I put a timer on my phone for a minute, and we might have had the cleric table as one where our goal that we we're going to finish. And for one minute, we brainstormed just on a sheet of paper, everyone individually, as many items as we could, hoping that we'd at least come up with 10. After a minute, we had a pause, had a little cross check of all our um, little lists we had and crossed out any duplicates and we'd add them to the list and we'd keep repeating this until we had a hundred things. Now I'd love for you to develop some more items, maybe a cleric or an MU or mundane item so we can um, make these products bigger and bigger. You can see how easy it would be. So if you want to comment in the comments below, we can add it to them or develop your own list or do it with your friends um, around the table. It's quite a lot of fun. And when you're put on the spot GMing, you don't have to think about things. You've got quite a list. And when I use them, I like to tailor them a bit. For instance, if it was a set of paper mache masks, I would maybe do it for a local production that's in town and describe each mask. If it was a religious item, I think about what, where we're at in the story and what would be the most um, likely religious item to have. And I'm sure you would do the same sort of thing too. But it just gives you a starting point. You don't have to panic and think. And the players really like just rolling on the table. Table again. Which is just percentile. Just percentile is the cleric table, yeah. You get a cleric. That's 46. 46, just look that one up for you. It's of an addressy token. Addressy being the um, the holy isle where the city where all temples are, and they have a tax to get in, and this token allows you to get in for five days. Well, yeah, so that's it. what you found on the body. Thanks for watching Mundane Items Tables. If you like what we're doing, please hit subscribe doesn't cost you anything. If you're interested in buying any of our products, they're down below, the links. Um, there's a lot of free stuff. Please don't buy anything or spend any more than you can afford. Um, we'd love to hear your comments to see maybe if you could add some mundane items to our tables. We're very happy to incorporate it and build a new table and tell us about what other tables that you might like. Thanks again for watching Role Playing Eldoria.